clearly, the Argies didn't read the script. 25-15. I mean, let's take a bow territory, that. That's not even close. I mean, seriously. Nicolas Sanchez, you total and utter legend. That was a World 15 performance, if ever there was one. I mean, in my heart of hearts, I'm not even disappointed. In fact, looking at their losing margins over the past few years, it should come as no surprise at all. Plus, being in the toughest rugby competition in the world to win, you either sink or swim. And these buggers are doing a frickin' medley like they own the bloody pool. And it wasn't even at their house. I mean, that's just disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, crap's on the Safra excuse of needing 500 minutes of rugby in order to compete on a global scale. This lot haven't even played in the international rugby since the last World Cup. Let me know in the comments below though whether or not you believe the Saffirs are justified in their position, or if you think the truth that is the COVID-19 chicken has come home to roost. But as gutted as I am, and I am, it's only right that the Argies get recognised for being the giant killers they are. And yes, beating the All Blacks makes you a giant killer, since their winning percentage against every international team in the world is to the positive. Now, as per, what I'm going to do is leave you with some fun facts about Rocket the Raccoon. But I'll join you towards the end of the video anyway.
quite like them actually if I'm being perfectly honest I didn't really know how to color in rocket so I just colored in everything first and then hope for the best uh, but as per do like subscribe share if you feel the need and I'll see you again shortly ciao